excited to do some sewing today? Yes, I am. I'm going to make this beautiful dress from this gorgeous vintage pattern. Well, I'm not using a pattern. I fucking hate patterns. I'm going to make a dress that's in here. And I did this really, really excellent drawing of what it's going to look like. But Missy, I have all of these beautiful patterns that you could use. Look how tempting. <sighs> Fine. Okay, just a minute. I know I have the perfect pattern here somewhere. Hang on. minutes later. So, I may have already abandoned the pattern. You know why? Because I fucking hate patterns. God! No, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, seriously, you guys? Oh my god, thank you so much. I mean, the performance wasn't that good. It kind of was that good, but I'd be modest. I'm very modest as a human being. And, you know, I would, I would blush if I wasn't such a stone-cold bitch, and I, I might, I might get nominated to an Oscar. I don't want to sound full of myself, but, like, I might. Fans. Oh, you really shouldn't have. This is this is too much. Oh, I'm getting emotional. I have to go. But not today, bitches. You know why? We've got a pattern and we're following it to the fucking letter. I pinky promise you. You see this? I'm doing it right now. I'm pinky promising you that I am going to whine and complain and fucking force myself to follow the instructions to finish this pattern as God intended. So Get ready for a lot of bitching from me. Here we go. Welcome to the sewing cave. Mary rearranged the sewing cave. It looks great. We have so much space. Hello. Hello. So, you want to see the pattern that we're using today? <laughs> Isn't it great? Look at how great it is. So beautiful. It is a 1956 Vogue evening gown, which I guarantee you is going to look absolutely nothing like this by the time I'm done, because that's the way it works. But uh, we're going to follow the pattern today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a deep breath. A vintage pattern. Yeah, that. I know. And I'm going to I'm going to complain a fucking lot. I know it, but I'm going to follow the goddamn pattern. I promise. <laughs> so I looked at the back of this and it says you need 10 and a quarter yards of fabric. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? But Mary says the fabric was thinner in the 50s, like narrower. So... Uh, I only bought seven yards, so I hope that's enough. And, uh, yeah. I think I only have four yards. Oh, shit. So I might be in trouble. <laughs> We're going to see. We're going to see. But let me show you our beautiful fabrics. Hang on. All right, so here we are. There's the pattern. Isn't it gorgeous, darling? I'm so excited. We're making this one. Uh, I'm not making this drapey thing because I don't care. I'm just making the dress. Also, pockets! Pockets are the selling point. So I have really, really heavy black canvas because that's just what I do. I make all of my clothing incredibly heavy. This is some interfacing. Mary has a very similar canvas, just like a little a little bit lighter than mine. So um, they're going to start out as plain Jane dresses and we'll see. But first we have to cut this out. I would also like to point out that this is 1956. It is labeled as a size 16 and it has a bust of 34 inches, which is my bust measurement. So I am a plus size in the 50s. And this is also funny because everyone says, oh, Marilyn Monroe was a size 14. Well, yeah, maybe she was in fucking 50s sizes, which is like a modern size two to four most probably. So anyways, enough bitching about Marilyn Monroe. Let's get started. All right, so we've got our pieces cut out. There's like a lot of them. There's, they're everywhere. There's a lot of pieces. So yeah, I don't know. And also we discovered that this big, thick, beautiful booklet of instructions is not actually instructions. It's actually just completely useless. And it tells you how to take your measurements and stuff. And um, these are the instructions. These tiny, tiny, teeny little printed things on the pattern. 
are the instructions. So I don't know. Good luck to us. Also, we don't even know. Like Mary and I have been sewing a long fucking time and we don't even know what half of these pieces are. So I don't know. That's going to be fun. Also, Luna, are you eating rocks? I'll, I'll take that as a yes. All right, so we got our pieces cut out. Mm -hmm. Two hours, two hours later, we fucking got our pieces cut out. But Jesus, like that was like a solid five and a that half. Was a long time. Yeah, like <laughs> long time and like probably like five, five and a half yards of fabric. I have a little bit extra. Mary didn't have enough. No. Sure, we got a little bit creative with hers, but anyways, whatever. Uh, we also didn't cut out some of the pieces because there's things called like hip stiffening and whatever and i'm like fuck that we're already doing thick ass canvas i don't need to look like my hips are like jutting straight out like this like a crazy person so i'm like nah. walk sideways through the door exactly right marie antoinette style <laughs> so let me show you these crazy ass piles that we've got going on and i think we can finally start sewing all right here's mary's pile with things so this is really cute because she ran out of fabric regular dress made out of the canvas and then she's going to do the center panel out of this beautiful brocade like stuff which i think is a lovely idea. I think that's gonna look really pretty. Here's my pile. Super stiff ass canvas. There's like, what, 13, 13 pieces to this? Yeah. 13 pieces to this. So, uh, let's start putting it together. End of day one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a lot done. I thought I was getting a lot done. Uh, it turns out I had to rip out a lot of things and I have a whole lot of nothing right now. My brain feels like mush. Man. That's confusing. It's fucking confusing. <laughs> it's confusing. Man, when Vogue made patterns, they weren't fucking around. No. So like, yeah, we, uh, I have this. <laughs> Which is like two, nothing. Two half of pockets. Yeah, two half pockets and like everything <laughs> cut out and that's kind of it. So <sighs> I'm going to give my brain a chance to refresh, maybe have a glass of wine and then to be continued. Welcome to day two. I've mostly forgotten... <laughs> <laughs> everything we did on day one so we now have like this horrible mass of black fabric also luna is back there helping you can see how much she's helping yeah so we have like this and we like don't remember what we're doing not quite sure how it goes together now <laughs> yep so we're gonna go back to the really complicated 50s pattern and see what we get accomplished today fingers crossed hey luna are you helping are you helping us sew Helpful. Yes. Hey guys, it's starting to look like a dress, kind of. Look, I have one pocket. Oh my god, look how deep this pocket is. I have to go like this to reach into it. It's starting to look like a dress, kind of, sort of. Um, look how long it is, too, which is great. I did find out that I'm going to have to drop this because if I jack this up, the waist doesn't sit correctly because I'm very tall. I don't know if you know this. but uh, So I'm going to have to drop that down and add a piece here. But, like, it's starting to look like a dress. I'm so excited. Okay, more sewing. edges here on the shoulders so we just have to finish that but we don't have any binding so yes. we're gonna go get some binding and finish that but look at these glorious pockets look how glorious they are it's comfortable too it is actually quite comfortable yeah. pain in the ass but very comfortable so uh yeah we're just gonna finish the armholes and uh, and we're gonna decorate mary doesn't have any idea what i'm doing and, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing either. Excellent, excellent. Well, it'll be a surprise for both of us. So we're going to uh, decorate our beautiful new dresses and meet back up when they're done. Yes? Yes. All right. All right, you guys, I finished the last few touches on the dress and thank God for that because I complained and whined all the way through it, but I stuck to my guns and I followed the goddamn pattern. This is probably one of the only patterns in my entire life that I have followed all the way through and I don't really intend to do it ever again so enjoy that while it lasts it's not it's not terribly exciting here it is behind me I finished off the armholes and finished putting in the lining and stuff it's a beautiful dress it's a beautiful pattern but it's a little too plain for me so Mary and I are decorating separately we're gonna meet up afterward and see how we each decorated our dress and I can guarantee you right now without knowing at all what she's gonna do that these dresses are gonna end up looking very very different she's probably gonna do something very pretty add some like appliques or some lace trim or something which is gonna be gorgeous but you know me I can't leave anything pretty for too long so I have immediately decided to completely fuck up this beautiful evening gown and turn it into, get ready for it, 
one gigantic punk rock, death rock battle jacket. I thought, what could be better than taking a beautiful 1956 evening gown and making it like decked out to fuck with all these patches? So I put out the call. I put it out on Instagram and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing if all kinds of different artists and people donated patches of their art and like studs and spikes and things. And this dress became like a massive community art project for goths like around the world. And I've had people message me from France, from England, from the States, from Australia, from Germany, like from everywhere, from Canada, different provinces where I live donating parts of their art to go on this dress. And it's going to be fucking amazing. I absolutely can't wait to finish this and to wear it around, but there's a lot of sewing before that. There's a, there's a lot of sewing. Like Mary has no idea what I'm getting up to right now. So I plan on lying to her and telling her that I haven't had time to work on it until, until it's done because she's going to be like, what's taking you so long to decorate this fucking dress? So let me show you the patches I've got so far. There's still more coming in the mail, but I'm very excited about this. Okay. So these are the patches that I already had in my collection that have just been hanging around waiting for a project. So these are ones, some lip service patches. Uh, that's an extra one that I had embroidered for my birthday dress from 2019. That's the leg off a tiny pair of pants that I ripped apart. That's from one of Brody's t-shirts that rotted a long time ago. Some other stuff, whatever. Mary made me that patch a long time ago. I'm pretty excited about it. And then here are the patches that people have donated so far. Look at these, you guys. Oh my God. First of all, Brody made me this one. He embroidered this himself. Isn't that friggin' cute? It's so cute. This is a custom portrait of one arm Bob that he did his very self. He painted that for me. And then look at all this other, all of this other gorgeousness. We got a giant onk. These are all, all these ones are from one arm Bob here. We've got some, you know, some of the art is obviously um, better than, <laughs> than others, but uh, everyone's art is amazing and like completely, I love different styles of art. This one is hand stitched. Look at the, this is crazy. This is totally crazy. That one's hand stitched. This one's screen printed. This one's painted, painted, painted. Look at the detail on the rosary beads. This one is like, that's thick paint. That one's thickly painted. And I absolutely love it. Varying sizes, varying art styles. Some of them vaguely insulting. Thanks a lot, Bob. But like, and there's more coming. So this is what I've got so far. Let's get started decorating. everybody more patches arrived in the mail i'm so excited look at all these freaking amazing patches that came in so and i'd like to point out that one was painted by a very small child of like five who wanted to contribute to my dress which is amazing this one is a real dog's paw print that was dipped in paint i heard the dog was was rather impressed about that which is pretty great and like look at look at how fucking awesome most of these are like I can't draw worth shit, so all of this totally amazes me. We got some band logos. Ooh, look, and even more patches. Look at all these great patches that showed up. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about them. They're so gorgeous. Schmuck bait. Scum dog. No bones. Bunch of bands that I like. My own official dark patch. Amazing. So excited. More sewing. So we're here so far. I have this much done. All of these delightful patches. And I embroidered a spider web. Because why the fuck not? Let me show you the other side. And also this. This is the other side. I'm almost, I'm almost all the way around. I just have this spot over here. That's the only spot that I have left to make it all the way around the bottom once. Thank God I still have a lot more patches. But I decided that it's time to stud. So I have... All of these things, these are lighter tops, actually. These are a shitload of lighter tops. I still need more of those. Got a bag. This is exactly 252 pyramid studs. And then I have all of these studs in here. So uh, I'm going to add some studs to this and then keep on patching. Let's go. Oh my God, more patches, you guys. These are all from the same person. Can you imagine? Look at how fucking awesome these are. And these ones are actually really small. Look at how small they are, which is cool because a lot of the patches that are becoming are big, which is also awesome, but it's really good to have a variety of sizing. Excited! Ooh, two more patches. 
check these out. First of all, these are fucking huge, which is amazing. And also look at the detail. I thought this one was screen printed. I thought that was a fucking screen print, and that is paint. That's amazing. I can't wait to put these on my dress. All right, progress update. We're climbing. We're climbing. I have about this much done. It's looking really fucking good so far. I'm really excited about it. On some parts, like over here, I'm going to flip the dress for you in a sec. We're almost up to the pockets. These are the pockets here. So I have to watch that I don't stitch stuff to the insides of the pockets. But it's going good. I'm going to flip it. And here's the other side. It's looking great. I can't even tell you how many fucking hours are in this already. I would say I'm about half done. I know it doesn't look like it, but the bottom of the dress is wider and then it gets narrower as it goes up, right? So half down, half to go. Let's keep sewing. Aw, oh, more patches, you guys. Look at with the sweet notes. France and the States. They're literally coming from all over the world and I'm so fucking excited. These are so beautiful. some more patches arrived and I'm so excited about this one says filthy filthy things and I'm very excited to put it on my dress every good death rock gown needs profanity am I right and I was actually so excited about it I pinned it on the dress before I filmed it for you but anyways there it is and this one this is my first embroidered patch we had a couple of uh, hand stitched patches but this one is fucking embroidered can you imagine it's amazing so this is actually the original drawing uh, the gentleman drew this, which is fucking incredible, and then he sent it away and had it embroidered into that patch. I'm so excited to sew them on! Let's go! More patches! More patches, you guys! Some of these are screen printed, these screen printed ones. Also this, if you guys have seen the Omegle video. If you haven't, watch it. You'll understand that patch. It's fucking hysterical. Jessica, Miss Jessica designed these. She's doing patch designing now, so if anybody wants patches designed, you can hit her up. We got a Satan seamstresses over here, which of course has to be on. We've got some horror skulls, some rude words. The best advice of all time, just yell Mad Max. And these ones were actually done with um, yarn, which is really cool. That one and the, the spider web. All right. More patches for the dress, let's go! Ooh, even more patches, look at these. Look at them. So exciting! All right, you guys, it's done. Holy fuck, holy fuck, it's done. I'm wearing it right now. Can't show it to you, can't show it to you yet. We're on our way to the cemetery to film this goddamn clusterfuck on my body. I am so happy. I think this is one of the coolest things that I've ever made. I can't wait to show it to you. I do want to point out that I put up my Liberty Spikes. And I now don't know how I'm going to drive to the cemetery because my Liberty Spikes were shorter last time I put them up, you know, pre-COVID. This is the first time I've had my hair up like this since COVID and uh, I don't know how I'm going to fit in the car. So that's going to be interesting, but I'm excited for you to see this dress. So let's go. Hopefully I don't wreck my hair on the way there. All right. We're clearly in the cemetery now. And Mary has like no fucking idea what I did to my dress and I doubt she's ready for it. So we're gonna try to film her face when she shows up here. Cause like, I bet you, knowing Mary, I bet you hers is like real pretty and covered in like sequins and like flower appliques. We'll see if I'm wrong, but she's not ready for this.
Mary just got here. I'm hiding behind this tree. So Jessica's gonna go film her and see if she has any guesses for what I did to my dress. Go, Jessica. Here comes Mary. So, what do you think Missy did to her dress? Um, I'm guessing spikes. That doesn't sound like her at all. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm guessing spikes. Maybe some skulls. No, that's it. that sounds totally not like Missy at all. Mm, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, these are from all around the world. I put out the call and I said, who wants to send me fucking art? And they came from England, Germany, Australia, no. the States. Yeah, everybody, they mailed them in, people that watch our YouTube videos. Oh, where's my coffee? Yeah, <laughs> that was from you. I couldn't ask you for one, so I, I took that off something else and put it on so that you had one on it too. Oh my God. Isn't it crazy? It's awesome. Yeah. It's heavy. I was heavy. thinking it's gonna be heavy with spikes, but I, I didn't mean, imagine patches. Me neither. Yeah, I, I can't even believe that these this is the same dress. It's amazing. Like, I know, we finished them together, but like they look like completely different fucking dresses now. But actually, do you have a favorite thing about the dress? Like, what is your favorite? Um, I like the pockets. I like that they have pockets yeah. too. Also, like, these pockets are so big. I bet that I can keep entire bottles of wine in these pockets. Really? But yeah. In fact, would you, would you like a glass of wine? I think I would. Oh, would you like red? Or would you like white? Mm, my favorite. Yes. Oh my god, did I you take glasses? glasses? <laughs> oh, amazing. I know you. You need you need red. You need red. Jessica, you don't get any. No wine for you, only for us. You didn't make a dress. Now if only I had a place to put these wine bottles. Oh wait! <laughs> Magic! Awesome. Cheers, Mary. Cheers. To a job well done. So there you have it, a sewing video with Mary again. What started out as the same dress and ended up clearly as very, very different dresses, which is the point of this, right? Like you can take something that somebody else has and style it very, very differently, right? And I mean, it's a pattern from 1956. I am not a 1950s dress girl, very obviously. And like, even still, yours didn't look like the 50s. It looks no. Victorian now, No, now right? it's more Victorian. Exactly, right? very sleepy hollow. So yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you please with stuff. Like, don't be bound by what it's supposed to be. Look for what you want it to be. And then it will be. So if you like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be amazing. Mary's got, oh, I thought you were gonna put your wine up oh, for a second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, that would be even more amazing. If you wanna follow Mary on social media. Uh, I am under Autumn Moon Enchantment. On? And Mary Morning. Instagram? Instagram, YouTube, and? Facebook? Facebook. Twitter? Yes. Excellent. All the things. Oh, and TikTok. You have TikTok, don't TikTok, you? TikTok, yeah. Yeah, TikTok's and TikTok. Than Twitter. There you go. <laughs> so you can follow Mary on all the things. Me too. Follow me on all the things. I'm Madame underscore Absinthe on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. What else? Facebook. Facebook. Someone Facebook. with a picture of my face. I have Kofi, Kofi.com slash Madame Absinthe. And all the things. I have all the things. Just follow me on all the things. And that's it. Ring the bell for notifications. For you can get notifications for putting up new sewing videos, probably with Mary, because that's what I do. She probably talked me into using more fucking yes. patterns, because that's her <laughs> that's her job. God. Oh, and, I have some patterns for us to try. Oh God, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, you guys. She's like reeling me in with more patterns. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked our dresses. Comment down below whose you like better, Mary's or mine. I know they're very different, so it's a hard call and everybody has a preference, but I'm interested to hear it. And I think that's it. We'll see you guys all around for our next sewing video. Okay, I don't